Jonathan Bocher from PlayGuitar.com, coming to you from somewhere in Zambia. I thought I should really do at least one or two videos while I'm here, so um, here you have it. I thought I would start with a review of this lovely little guitar, the Composite Acoustics Cargo, which I've been relying on as my go-to axe for um, nearly eight months here. But um, yeah, it's a. Uh, I think sometimes they put an XL behind it. I'm not sure. But anyways, it's a composite acoustics cargo. It's fully carbon fiber. Everything, even like everything, is made out of carbon fiber, which means it is impervious to um, changes in climate, like uh, humidity, temperature, all the kind of things that really destroy normal wooden guitars. Um, it's been great. I do apologize for the probably excessive wind noise that you're hearing right now. I forgot my dead kitty, kitten, as they call them, the, the fuzzy thing that goes over top to uh, eliminate the wind noise. Um, this thing is fantastic for traveling because it's small. As you can see, it's very small. Uh, it's very, very durable. It's incredibly strong. It's, it's like solid. There's no nothing bolted together. It's just solid carbon fiber. It's fantastic. Has a pickup in it. You can get them without pickups. I got mine second hand, um, specifically for coming here. And um, it's been great. When I started playing it, um, I was a little bit thrown off because I'm used to playing my uh, my Takumini at home, which is a full size wooden acoustic, and it has a bit of a different sound to it. And so it takes a little bit of getting used to, but I can tell you like, it's like the first hour that you play, you're like, not even an hour, maybe 10, 15 minutes. You're like, oh, it's a little bit different sounding, but very quickly you get used to it. A few little tricks though. Um, to get this thing playing right, I had to go with um, 13s, uh, the strings, because the intonation just wasn't quite right. And uh, it just sounded always a little bit off, which was really frustrating. And that may be the case on any guitar, truly. Um, if your guitar just sounds a bit off and you keep on wanting to just toss it, which you can, by the way, you can throw these and it's not going to actually hurt it. Haven't tried, haven't gone there yet. But um, intonation. At first, I, did, I just didn't like the sound of it. I was playing around with it back home. And... Um, a friend of mine, Colin Daniel, suggested going up to 13s instead of 12s. Um, I think I was using lights or something on there before, which are either 11s or 12s, I think. Anyways, I went to 13s and it, it made a world of difference. The only catch is, is that I think the, the, the low E in a pack of 13s is a 56, and that actually doesn't fit on this guitar. Um, so I had to get packs of 13s and then individuals. This is a 53 um, and the 53 works. So I got 53 and then the rest is just a, a standard pack of 13s and then that works fine and it's been good. And um, another little trick that I have used is I'm tuned to E flat and that just gives me a little bit more flexibility in the strings. And I find that I can play it really comfortably, just like, you know, not not quite as easily as an electric, but um, you can do all those same kind of licks um, that you would on an electric, and it works. But going to E flat gives you that extra little edge in flexibility. So E flat, 13s, 53 on the bottom, and you're good to go. It. Um, it's been great. Like in terms of going on the airplane with it, it fits very small. There's this great little backpack bag. It's got backpacks on there. Um, bag could be a little bit more fitted. You know, the the add-on pack part of the bag could be, you know, could have a few extra little pockets in it or something like that. It's a pretty basic bag, but it works and um, it fits in the overhead compartments. Um, it's just kind of like a large backpack and it, and it works. It's great on the planes. I'm not concerned about the guitar getting mashed or mangled.
because I'm carrying it on and also because it's virtually indestructible. And that's what I love about this Composite Acoustics Cargo. Um, I've played it for probably upwards of an hour in the direct sunlight multiple times and never had to retune. Um, try doing that with a, a wooden guitar, I don't think you'll get very far. It just works great. The only problem is it gets really hot because it is black. Uh, even right now, I've only been out here a little while, but it's getting pretty warm already. So um, anyways. does have that slightly different sound than you might be used to, but um, it's good. Anyways, I will talk at you again next time. It's Jonathan here from PlayGuitar.com. Have a great day.